Hi everyone, it's Lucy from My Crazy Craft Life and today I'm here with a design team post for Fairy Stamper video team. I am going to be using Perfect Pearls to make these cards along with Bluebell the Fairy Stamp and Bluebell's the Flower Stamps. I also am going to be making five and a half inch square cards and I used some Sizzix square dies just to cut out some frames and I'm also going to be using the inside pieces. Now the thing I love about Perfect Pearls is it's such a cool effect and it is really so easy. You just need your embossing ink and then the Perfect Pearls. All of the sets that I have came with different brushes that you see there. So you definitely have the brushes that you need. And after you stamp the embossing ink you can just brush the Perfect Pearls over them. So it really doesn't get too much easier than that. And like on this one, I'm going to, and since it's black, and I really think it's cool that you can use Perfect Pearls on black and they show up so well. I'm going to be stamping the image again with the embossing ink, and I'm going to be using Forever Blue Perfect Pearls for this fairy. And the piece that I had made before, I used Pewter, and I only did part of it or because it's really going to just kind of be an outline, but I still wanted that shimmer on there. And so I used Pewter for that. But you can see I just stamped it with the embossing ink and now I am just brushing the Perfect Pearls over it. And all of that will just come right off with a dry cloth or dry towel or tissue once you kind of get the excess off. I just kind of brush the excess back into the little container for the Perfect Pearls. And like I said, it just brushes off perfectly and it sets right there. Now I'm going to take this frame and this is a removable adhesive that I put down here first because I want to make sure that when I stamp it, I stamp the image right in the center and so it's going to fit within the frame on this one. And for this fairy after I stamp it, I am going to be using green and blue patina and I'm also using forever violet on the wings. So I'm actually making kind of a tri-color fairy, but no, the fairy's body is going to be in the green patina, the blue bells that are the flowers that are kind of coming out are going to be in the blue patina, and the forever violet is the color that I chose for the wings. And I started out with the smaller brush, but it just wasn't going on quickly enough and I again like I said you don't have to worry about this being perfect because you can just brush it all right off. Now you don't want to brush it off in between colors if you're doing multiple colors with a towel or something because that'll mess up your embossing ink so just make sure whatever colors you're using you try to stay within the areas that you want it to go but I also wasn't super concerned if it kind of mixed a little bit because I just think it gave it a cool effect and I really wish you could see how shiny this is in person because I just don't think that the video gives it does it justice when you're looking at it on the video on how shiny it actually is then I'm just gonna take that frame that's gonna go around there and I'm gonna use the blue bells stamp and I'm just gonna stamp parts of the flowers on different areas of this frame and for this I'm using the forever blue and the green patina in a little in a few areas with the stems and the leaves and the flowers themselves I'm using the forever blue and like I said I just love this and why I don't use this more often I don't know because every time I do it I realize how much I like it but then I just kind of forget and don't use them for a really long time. So I'm really glad I found them again and I pulled them out to use them here. I do end up using both the small and the larger flowers. The smaller ones you can see I just kind of set up on each side but then the larger one I just did of the flowers. And so you can kind of see how once you wipe it off with a dry towel or like I said a tissue that it really just comes completely off of everywhere except where the embossing ink was. And so again, I just think this is a really cool effect, especially with these images because they're so solid. 
it just really I think gives them an awesome effect and again I'm just using that forever blue on this one and these cards came together really quickly once I kind of cut the dies and just creating the way that I wanted them to look and stamping all of the images like I said super quick they came together and I just think this the shine on these is just amazing I do end up using a sentiment from a Kelly creates stamp set that I had purchased from Hobby Lobby I believe because like I said <clears throat> excuse me I had to make a couple sympathy cards and I just wanted it to say thinking of you now I will be linking the stamps that I used in the description area of this video. Here I'm just going to remove that removable tape so that I can actually put it down. And I use a pop-up foam square so that I can pop up this frame when I add it to the card base itself. And that fairy over on the right there I stamp directly onto the card base and the other fairy I stamped on a layering piece and after I thought about I was using these little squares I thought I should have just probably used a piece of tape foam tape but I was kind of already in this in this process of going along with this and I decided just to keep going but like I said the shine on these I think is just amazing and it is just so very simple being able to use the embossing ink and then just brushing it right directly onto it and you can get some really kind of awesome tones especially when you're mixing colors that I think end up just looking really cool so here again I am using the foam squares to pop this frame up and I am actually putting the frame up before I put the layering pieces in because I want to make sure that they layer in there properly and they are centered properly so that I'm going to pop in that layering piece that I created with the pewter perfect pearls again just to give it that shine and after I had stamped it and then I added the layers to it I decided that I wanted something more on the frame but now I had the foam tape on there so I couldn't do any more stamping or at least not easily anyway so I ended up deciding to just kind of create a wash which apparently I'll do that in a second but um, here I am just using some I had I had already had these circles cut out that I was going to use for a different project and so I decided to use them on this project since I didn't use them for that one and so this is what I'm going to use for my sentiment I am just stamping thinking of you right on there and for this one I used forever red and then on the black I am going to use the pewter again just to give it again that shine so now this is when I decided that I wanted the frame to have something on it as well and so with heirloom gold I just created a kind of a wash now obviously I couldn't stamp it because it was already all put together with the embossing ink but what's so cool about perfect pearls is that you can also use them to kind of watercolor with so I mixed some water in with them with the heirloom gold and then I just kind of brushed it onto the frame trying to be careful not to get it everywhere and it dries really pretty quickly as long as you're not saturating it you know I, again I'm just washing this over really quickly and it dried pretty quickly but again it just gives it such a nice shine and kind of a cool effect by just using the brush strokes and not having it perfect you know not completely covered but just kind of brushed on there and I really loved that one so now here on the black like I said I am going to use the pewter and for this one I decided to do the wash and not to do the embossing ink so I just kind of washed that on there I had that white circle that I also decided just to brush with that since I had some left even though I didn't end up using it 
and then for this one as well I'm just going to use that thinking of you but for this one I decided to do some heat embossing and I used the embossing ink and then I just used some white embossing powder so that would stand out a little better again when you use your embossing tool or your heat tool your you want to make sure that you heat that up well so that it doesn't damage the paper too much now I popped up half of it because half of it's going to be up on the card and the other half is going to be kind of underneath on the base itself so that's why I kind of use the tape and that so those are my two cards so thank you for joining me I hope you enjoyed this make sure you check out fairy stamper on Facebook and the other fairy stamper hugs group and check out some more videos let us know if you want to see something else take care Thank you. Have a great day.